Hey, love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just, you know, thank you for being there. Even though in my crazy, heyoka ways, y'all still deal with me and I greatly appreciate it because at least I know I'm not being crazy and have a weird sense of humor all on my own. <laughs> so... With all that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not already. Y'all, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes and just good information that you love, you know, you think that somebody loves to, needs to hear or love to hear, please go ahead and share with them if, if it's a friend or a loved one. Or if you feel like you want to, you know, share, give me a thumbs up and share on your social media wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support that you give me as well. And I hope you're able to resonate with content of the video. Y'all had apologized for that last video. That meditation, I felt like I can feel everybody that has passed on, like friends. I mean, even you know, energy from people that always sends me blessings. Everything was coming at me all at once. And I mean, it's just like when you have stress coming at you, I mean, I felt love coming all over from all over the place. Like I felt hugs from people that passed on that meant so much to me. And I'm hearing them in my head and I'm like, oh my gosh, like stop, but don't stop, stop, but don't stop. <laughs> you know, I got really emotional. I hate crying, especially when that ugly cry, I'm like, no, I'm sorry. You know, but it's like when you feel love like that, you have to be able to express it. You know, you have to, I, I show y'all a lot of my vulnerable sides and I don't like being vulnerable like that. But, you know, it, it's just like that. You know, like if you church, you go to church and you feel that spirit coming to you, whatever. I don't go to church. You know, I'm not a uh, religious person, but I'm very spiritual. But I remember there's times that there are certain things I could be going through and the pastor could be talking about something that really hit home for me. And, you know, it can give you confirmation that, you know, things are going to be okay. You know, even though you might go through some different things, I'm trying not to get emotional again because that was just, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah. But I'm going to tell y'all, my, my um, uh, meditation music, and I said, let me get off of, off of that because I know I'll start getting emotional again. So um, my meditation music is Manifest Anything You Want, Slow Drums. So I will go ahead and post that, that link in the description box below. And my video today is When Discovering Your Soul Calling. But yeah, you know, that was a beautiful feeling. You know, when I know I can feel that much powerful love coming towards my way, I would love to send this towards somebody else. So if, you know, you were feeling that at that time and you felt it through the meditation music and you got emotional, that's, you know, that was me sending that love towards you. But yeah, um, yeah, this meditation I'm listening to right now is very beautiful and it has Buddha like throwing all this money out, whatever. But you know, shoot, we all need that monetary abundance, you know, that comes to them comes to us but yeah going through all these different things and going through discovering your soul calling it can be really crazy because you know when I started this like a year or two ago I mean it I mean, it took me a while just to understand the value of what I was doing the value of what was coming what blessings and abundance is what was coming my way for me to get peace and understanding why I was going through things you know it's like everything I learned new about others as well as myself which was a true blessing I I had to know these things I had to know that I was going through these things for a, a, a certain reason and it, it's just like you know there's a lot of times you know and I tell people this people get offensive if you're like do you really know who you are and you're not saying it in a con you know uh you know a condescending way or you know just being you know a jackass you know there's a lot of times people will walk around and don't know why they're here they don't know their soul purpose they don't know their soul calling and it's just like that can be a really tough situation to be able to know but like i told y'all before it's such a blessing when i can be able to help people there's some people that has connected me on connected with me on that one-on-one -on -one time and it was just like things they didn't even notice about themselves that I had to be able to you know mirror that to them I'm like oh my god do you know that you're this 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 and this and this and that and they're like 
how do you know me like that? You know, and it's crazy how I can just go through somebody's Rolodex of life like that and be able to tell them, like, if your spirit is, I mean, your spiritual vibration towards me is very strong. Sometimes I can be able to see people's past lives. Some things I can put understanding to why they're going through the situation they're going through now. Or if their loved ones is trying to send them messages, I've, I've been able to do things like that too. And it, I mean, sometimes it can be really creepy. I'm like, how the heck did I know that? But it's like their family's coming towards me and I'd be able to give things like that information. Like I've told y'all before, I've had medium experience. I've had clairvoyant experiences, but it's not on a regular basis. It's like when it's called to see fit that I have to talk about that. So, you know, I don't do that for a living. I don't, you know, make money off of that. But, you know, if I'm blessed to be able to share that with somebody, especially if they're truly hurting or trying to heal or trying to make sense of the things they're going through at that time, I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to bless somebody with a situation like that. And it's not, you know, for looking for anything in return. Like I tell y'all a lot of times, I love what I do. You know, you know, it can get on my last daggone nerves. I love what I do. But, you know, it's just sometimes I can read people's situations. Like some people used to ask me, ooh, Rosalyn, read me. I hate reading people because it's not the fact that, you know, I'm trying to make sense of their life. But there's a lot of things that, you know, is better left unsaid. And I end up, that would be my curse. That would be not the, the blessings to be able to help make sense. But the curse is when I can see the, all the things they had to go through to get to that point. That's what I don't like. But it's just like when you know your 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 soul calling is, is dying for you to engage into that part of you that's unknown. It, it can be scary. And I'll tell people all the time, our human sides can get scared for and fearful of that. There's times you might be able to see ghosts and spirits coming to you um and you're trying to understand why i tell people all the time if you're starting to see spirits and ghosts and stuff like that it's just like the movie six cents with bruce willis and uh that dude osmond Haley joel osmond you know going through situations like there there's a reason why spirits come to you they're trying to make peace or they're trying to give you you know there could be some that are devilish and they're trying to get at you or there's some that's trying to um you know, send a message to you, you know, and I tell them, do you feel hurt? Do you feel harmful? You know, sometimes I can vibrate towards somebody and let them know, hey, they're not being, you know, scary towards you. I mean, it could scare you because if you're not, you know, you're foreign to something like that, heck yeah, you're going to run. But it's like, obviously, they're coming to you for a reason because there's times I've seen them in my house and I'm just like, okay, why are you here? Or you can stay or have you tried to move on or, you know, these are the rules of the house. You can be here, but don't be scaring nobody. You know, I've been, you know, I've done that. So it's just like we all go through these diff different situations of discovering our true selves, trying to put meanings to the things we're going through for a reason, knowing there's a reason behind we're going through all the mistakes, the 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 brutal mishaps, you know, the failing of you know situations to know that there's a reason behind all these situations and then when you can make be able to make peace with that and honor your true self for what you truly are and try to engage to know this is my mission this is something i signed up for many millenniums ago to know and i could put a meaning to what i'm going through in my life and it's a blessing to be able to you know find that and you know go through all those things you know i i, I feel blessed every day to where I, like I said, to be able to give somebody that peace of mind, you know, because when I first started this situation, I didn't have that, you know, help have people help me like that. I had my spiritual guides. I had my dad, you know, I had loved ones that passed on and try to help me put meaning to it. I mean, I've had friends from years ago tell me, Rosalind, you're going to do something so great for the world. And I'm like, shoot, all the mess ups I do, how the hell am I going to help the world? I can't even help myself. And then didn't realize they were already seeing the things that I was doing because there was a lot of people that I was around that like prophesied at things that I'm going to really make a dent in the world, make a dent in the atmosphere to be able to bless people. So, you know, knowing that you can be able to do that it is a true blessing. Knowing that you can be able to help others as well as yourself on doing what you need to do to, you know, try to find your true self. And, you know, I'm looking at this and it says 2222. Um, um, that, it, you know, you, you have a purpose. You have a reason for the failed opportunities. You have the purse, the, the reason for the setbacks, the reasons for you falling and not get, giving up. 
you got back up again just to try again so knowing everything is coming to you for a reason look into your gift learn more about yourself you know if you need help from me hey i'm glad to help you as much as i can so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video much love and light to everybody know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing that better days are coming and somebody's praying for better days for you so send out as much love and light positivity as you possibly can much love uh to jesse i love you girl that's my sister from another mister this is all i hope she's having a good day today with many love and blessings and you know blessings towards y'all away and i said i apologize for getting so emotional in my other video but i really felt that love there and just be able to open up my divine consciousness and be able to share it with people and share that vibration is true blessing because you know i feel love like like that you know i want to be able to share it so much love to y'all like and subscribe even hit the notification bell and you know share my video and drop me a line i'll love a chance to hear from you and i'll talk to you in my next video be safe and be responsible for everything you do and i'll see you later much love peace be wild